Some startups go up, others go down. Welcome to GeekWire's Elevator Pitch, where three entrepreneurs pitch their businesses in the 42 seconds it takes to get to the top of Seattle's iconic Space Needle. Over the course of nine episodes, we'll narrow the field from 27 entrepreneurs to one winner. In this episode of Elevator Pitch, presented by Smartsheet, we'll hear from three startup founders as they pitch their emerging businesses to our panel of leading investors and entrepreneurs. Let's meet our judges, T.A. McCann, a serial software entrepreneur and professional sailor who sold his last company to Google and counts Rival IQ and more than a half dozen other startups to his name. Richard Tate, the motorcycle riding Scotsman and mastermind behind the hit board game Cranium, who now stirs up new ideas inside Starbucks. Heather Redman, power broker and former Getty Images executive who cuts deals as managing director of venture capital firm Flying Fish Partners. The clock is ticking. Jump on board and ride with us on the elevator pitch and find out which entrepreneur has what it takes to make it to the top. My name is Erin Rothman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of StormSensor. Welcome to the Space Needle. We have created a high-resolution sensor network designed to transform the stormwater and wastewater infrastructure industries from discrete sampling to continuous, comprehensive monitoring across entire facilities and municipalities. Using our own proprietary anomaly detection algorithms, for the first time ever, we can identify, track, predict, and prevent pollution and flooding in real time. We save our customers billions of dollars in infrastructure optimization and upgrade costs. And we dramatically improve both human and aquatic ecosystems across the country and ultimately across the world. Can you help me understand who the customer is? Yeah, we're focused on mid-sized municipalities that are located contiguous to waterways. These guys are dealing with combined sewer overflows, sea level rise, and the infrastructure in the United States has received a grade of D minus. Can you give us a more specific example? Like, is it deployed? Where is it working? Certainly, we have three pilots running right now. We have one pilot in Jersey City. We have another one in Kitsap County, and we have another pilot running with Port of Seattle. So we're using our sensors to identify those combined sewer overflows and then our algorithms to trace that upstream and be able to identify the source and stop it and ultimately save them tens to millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Walk us through what does that deployment look like? How many sensors? How much does it cost? The Jersey City deployment costs $6,000. We have six sensors running right now. They are deployed in two different outfalls. And then we also have the sensors deployed upstream of those outfalls within or between two tide gates. For them to make that ultimate buying decision, what do they have to see your product prove? And what does that do for them in terms of dollars saved or regulatory action avoided? Or sort of what's the ideal scenario for the customer? We are basically proving it right now. So we've demonstrated combined sewer outfall overflows. Um, so that's enough to get them to move forward. We'll be working with them on different data presentation things over the next few weeks as well. They're also able to use the data that we're generating to really streamline the maintenance of these systems. So for example, they have these netting facilities that capture all the crap that comes downstream and catches it before it goes out to the Hackensack River. Um, every time it rains, they send guys out to go remove or switch out those nets. If we can demonstrate when those nets need to be switched out, like if we've got consistent velocity, we don't have any backup, they don't have to send someone out there. So they anticipate that they could deploy over 100 units and save hundreds if not thousands of man hours every year. And what would the pricing on that be in full deployment? Full deployment would be about $60,000 for 100 units. Annually? Annually. So our software and hardware combined are $560 per sensor per year. And then we're developing the analytics that will be in beta later this year, and those will be 600 to 1,000 per sensor. Why so cheap? Yeah. <laughs> because our focus is not to make as much money per sensor sold. We want to get as much data possible. So instead of looking at on a per sensor basis, we tried to figure out how we could capture a large amounts of data on a granular level for application across entire urban watersheds. Charge more. Yeah. What's on the product roadmap? Where do you go from here? We're starting with conductivity. So right now we monitor temperature and flow of water moving through our pipes. Um, we're adding conductivity 
So we take it from about 95% coverage to 99% coverage of the major issues that we can identify. Ideally, we're going to move ultimately into emergency response and storm surges and hurricane warnings. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank, Thank you. I loved it. I thought it was super cool. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to determine the pricing though. Yeah. I mean, I think it's awesome that they have that latitude and it's a problem that not many other people are either equipped or interested in solving. But when you see how much it could possibly save a municipality, then that would really influence how I would determine what the pricing model should be. And it felt to me like right now, $6,000 per test seems kind of low for the opportunity that she might have. She's a strong CEO and clearly has been working this problem for a while. And so I have confidence that she's going to keep figuring it out. But it is a market that's going to move slowly to adopt new technologies. I also am interested in how they price the data. I mean, it seemed like there may be even more value in the data than the sensor. So I would have loved to hear more about just how they're thinking about the data. I like selling into climate change too. I mean, this is uh, the, the issues that she's talking about the, and the unknowns, highly relevant.